Today we're diving into the extraordinary life of Martin Van Buren Bates, a man quite literally larger than life. Martin was born on November 9, 1837 in Kona, Kentucky. By the time he was 12, he already weighed 200 pounds and was as tall as a grown man. But his growth didn't stop there. He eventually reached a staggering height of 7 feet 9 inches and weighed nearly 500 pounds. He joined the Confederate side during the Civil War, where his massive size led Union troops to refer to him as a man large enough to make five men with the fight of 50. After the war, what with animosity still high in eastern Kentucky, Martin moved to Cincinnati and joined the John Robinson Circus, becoming a part of the Cabinet of Curiosities. His cousin, Devil John Wright, was also a part of the circus as a sharpshooter and even inspired the character Devil Judd Tolliver in John Fox Jr.'s best-selling book, The Trail of the Lonesome Pine. For five years, Martin traveled North America with the circus thanks to his promoter, Judge H.P. Ingalls. Then, thanks to Judge Ingalls, fate intervened. Through Ingalls, Martin met P.T. Barnum, and through him, he met the tallest woman in the world, seven foot, 11 inch Anna Swan from Canada. The two fell in love and got married in London, England. They even met Queen Victoria and had a private reception with royalty. Tragedy struck when Anna gave birth to a stillborn daughter, 27 inches long and weighing 18 pounds. They donated her body to science. In 1874, they returned to the U.S. and toured the Southwest. Martin bought a farm in Seville, Ohio, where they lived happily and built a unique house. They joined the W.W. Coles Brothers Circus Menagerie and Museum in 1878 and 1879. Sadly, their second child, a boy, died shortly after birth, weighing 23 pounds and measuring 28 inches long. After this, they returned to Seville, living a peaceful life. In 1889, Anna fell ill and passed away. Martin ordered a special casket for her. When it didn't arrive in time, he had to reorder it. Because of this mix-up, he made sure to order his own casket and store it in the barn for his own funeral. Martin remarried Annette LeVon Weatherby, and the two lived in Seville until his death in 1919. Martin and Anna were buried together beneath a huge statue in Mound Hill Cemetery. Their headstones read, Martin Van B, Anna H, Babe, Sister. And there you have it, the incredible life of Martin Van Buren Bates, the Kentucky Giant. Be sure to like and follow for more stories of Appalachia. Thanks for watching.